Hey Varsan guys, I am Varunav Chaudhary and today we are going to start a new monthly series on our channel called Best Apps. So this series is all about mentioning the apps which I found useful or interesting. We are going to start this one with Android and there will be one for iOS. So if you want to see that, make sure to subscribe to my channel and guys without much further ado, let's get started. So let's start with the apps and the first one is Microsoft's To Do. So if you're looking for the app which you know you have to organize yourself and something like that make sure to check this out this is a very cool app you can easily add any task like uh, let's say making video can be a task and you can of course customize your like your tasks like you can add this to your current day or you can remind yourself at any time or date or you can add a due date to your task and you can always add a note one con that I feel it has is that it doesn't have any other way or any other different kind of alarm it uses the usual notification bell which you already must have put on your phone so there is any way to differentiate which is your task or uh, just any other apps notification if you want you can change the theme of this app by going here selecting change theme and you can select different colors and then there are different pictures backgrounds you can have like that and I believe that there will be more additions to this with coming updates and I also wish that they also add those different kind of alarm sounds so we can differentiate that it is this particular app which is notifying us of our tasks because all of them sound the same right now and it is really difficult to just differentiate which is from our schedule app from this app and from the other apps the next one is called again from Microsoft's Hyperlabs and this is a very cool app it gives competition to the Instagram's Hyperlapse app and I feel this one is also a pretty good app and you can definitely use this. You can obviously import your existing videos and you can also record any videos with it. It can make record videos up to 1080p if it is supported by your device and like there are other settings you can export it to SD storage and obviously you can share it on any social media you want and you can see the interface is very simple very clean you can start recording and of course it is no use if you are staying at one place hyperlapse are always meant for any kind of movement from one place to the other then you can you can also adjust the speed by which this video will play up to 32x from 1x and you can it exports very fast and you can definitely share it to any social media you care about and you can again readjust any other speed if you are not pleased with it or you can just start to shoot anything else so guys that was Microsoft Hyperlapse for you so let's move on to the next one if you are looking for a new email client you can check out Blue Mail. I found this one very versatile and very useful you can obviously if you get an email you can mark it red from the notification tray and you can search or multi edit and refresh this also has multiple accounts you can add on this app and I felt that this is a pretty useful one and Gmail although it is very good the default Gmail app but it could learn something from this it has a very light interface so don't worry about you lagging or struggling and also blue mail can act as your task manager you can check this out uh, let me go. you can add some tasks and it can tell you about those very useful app again so guys if you want a new email client and which is a bit more useful than the gmail one go with blue mail so the next app is called daily expense and what daily expense is that it handles your expense 
so i found this app to be a very simple and easy to use app other than the other um, alternative budget apps you can easily add your income your expenses and your transfers and you can see all the icons are very clearly marked and you can easily see them you can see your cash savings cards or some other accounts and you can also see a pie chart where which shows all your expenses spent where and when i found this app to be very good and very intuitive and if you want a budgeting or expenses app so i would suggest this one so the last app on our list is the one which i found quite interesting i've yet to check this uh, properly test this out but i found this very interesting and it is aimed for college students this is called frap and what frap is is that it is going to help you make most of your college years so let's first skip this and let me show you so to use this you need to have your college id and this is only for students who are in delhi or in some other parts of india i think they have started in delhi but um you know they will surely expand somewhere so this is a very useful app for students especially for college students as i've said and you can use this for internships for some student offers and it also helps you to build your own resume which i feel is very useful for anyone who's using this app as i've said this app will help you college students find some internships so if you go to work x you can find all sorts of internships lined up for you so you can see all sorts of internships lined up for you right here you can also go for categories and see which one is your thing really like content and media marketing social volunteering or something like that you can obviously apply and see what is the status of your application when you sent out for internships and this is i feel a very useful one app i have yet to test this out and i have yet to give a verdict on it but if you want to check something out i find this app pretty interesting so if any college student is watching this in india in delhi especially make sure to check this app out make the most of your college years and yeah that's it so guys these are all the apps for july which i want you guys to check out for android and if you guys feel that i missed out on some app that i should definitely check out make sure to mention it in the comments below and guys thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye